Hello YouTube, it's Balamore here, back again with more Blind Gaming. Today we're playing The Witcher 3 Blood and Wine DLC for the PC, of course. We're on part 24 of our series, hooray! <laughs> we were on Death March difficulty. You know, I haven't shown in a while, why don't I pop that up? Uh, I think it's under gameplay. Here you go, Death March. So we are on our quest. So we finished up all the treasure quests up to this point in the game, and that's after running around a freaking every unknown location. There were a lot. So a lot of the past videos were treasure quest videos. So now I figured we clean up the uh, two Witcher contracts we got, then move on to our many secondary quests. And every video had the quest names in them, so if you're searching for a specific quest, you know, you can do that. And again, this is all in Death March, and we're doing a mage build right now. I'm loving it, so we'll stick with that. Uh, I might change it up. We have plenty of room with the mutagens. I need more greater mutagens. I think I need four red mutagens, and then we can continue to uh, have unlock a fourth skill. But I'm still working on my build, so there's no point to even show it. It's just Igni, um, Yarden, and um, Axie. So, and a couple general skills. But anyways, um, read this contract per normal. And here is our, oh, I'm going to have to dump some of this soon. Actually, almost capped. Um, using the Griffin School set, the Grandmaster version, of course. And you can pause to, I mean, the, the, the bonus, the six, three and six piece bonus are badass. You get a free spell cast and you get this giant yard in which has a huge buff. So I'm gonna pause the video in one second. Okay, sorry about that. I wanted to free up some room. That's what the loot under me is. Uh, so, oh, in relation to the map, we are here. Let me zoom out. I'm trying to include all that stuff in each video, so you guys know. But I have this uh, signpost here. I think this is. Yeah, that's right. It's this place. It's like a, um, uh, what am I thinking, excavation site. That's what I'm thinking. I came down here, I think, when I was looking for, uh, what was it? Oh, unknown location stuff. This was an unknown location. I guess there's monsters down here still. Jeez, scared me. There was like uh, a couple undead monsters. It's actually up there. Let's go back. I already went through here searching for stuff when I had passed through. Alright, it's over here. That's right, they don't want to work in the quarry because of the monsters. And I already taken care of a lot of them. I think there was like four or five of them. What they call it, blasting devils? Are you doing, man? What plague? An unfortunate turn of offense, that's all. Get back to chiseling. If we don't deliver that hat on time, the infesto will twist my plums off. <laughs> Is that what you'll tell Emil's widow? That a cow crushed him and it was an accident? This, sir, is a grave matter. It requires a specialist, some mage or warlock. What happened here? Look, 
It's that witcher who's come to town. Maybe he can do something. An exorcism or the like. We should ask how much coin he'll want. Saw your notice. Got a problem with the cow? Fear a plague, is that it? Yes, indeed. And a horrid one at that. We've earned the gods something true we have. In Zeracania, they sent a plague of locusts, then of frogs. With us, they skipped right to raining cows down on us. <laughs> enough! Enough! No need to so panic! Come, Master Witcher, I shall divulge to you the matter at hand. It's probably some sort of aerial thing. Yes, an unfortunate matter indeed. To be crushed by a cow. A true shame, Emil. He was a good worker. I told them at once there had to be a simple explanation. But that lot, no. Right away they started in screaming, Plague! Demanding higher wages for hardship. Poor working conditions, you see? They ruin me, the brothers. Mm. My job is to figure out why a cow fell from the sky. That it? That too. The thing is, since none bother to clear the cow corpse, some filths overrun the other pit. We fear to venture there. Not surprised. Cow, where'd it come from? What kind was it? Why, the ordinary spotted kind. Nothing unusual. Its corpse rots in the other pit, sends out its stench, and a meal lies right beneath it. Will you tend to the matter and take on the contract? Of course I will. Need to know more about this accident. Anyone actually see what happened? No, but sounds there were. Osterv had just gone to see how Emil was getting along when suddenly we heard an ear botching boom. Moments later, something smashed into one of the cranes. Doubt it was the cow that hit the crane. Probably true. At any rate, come morn, we ventured out to sea, but the vermin drove us off. With that, all work came to a halt. Has remained so since. Master, tarry no longer, please. Will you take on the matter? Fine, I'll look into it. Might be a botched portal, but I doubt it. Lapiota reward you with progeny aplenty. I shall keep an eye out for your return. So their work's all hosed up until I actually finish this. This looks like it's very close, so let me pause the video while I make my way over to the next quest point. Alright, so this is taking us to the pit where we were originally. There were monsters here. scares me but since I already killed them when I was running through here there's the poor bastard must be a meal workers mentioned him poor guy unlucky as all hell I love the music in this game right now where do I start see it's gutted too well, I could have split when it landed but crushed by something heavy Skull base is cracked. Fresh tooth marks. Necrophages. But they got to him after his death. Won't learn anything else from the body. Tissues crushed in places. Must have fallen from quite a height. Got sliced open. Hmm. Not much blood, so it happened after death. Heart had already stopped pumping. Tooth marks. Small ones, though. So necrophages left them clearly. Sure sniffed out their feast fast. Deep claw wounds. Spread between talons indicates a draconid. A wyvern, probably. But these wounds weren't the cause of death. Got it. All clear now. Cow died when it fell from a great height. Draconid must have dropped it. The youngster probably trying to get the cow back to its nest, but it proved too heavy. Emil's bad luck to be standing right underneath. And then there's the crane. Alright, looks like we gotta look at the... Crane... It's 
see, I don't see anything on there. We can climb up that. There we go. Oh, it's on the other side. There we go. Must have hit it pretty hard. Dropped the cow, then probably tried to steady its flight. It hurt in the process. Good. Should be simple to track down. Well, where is the blood trail? Oh, here we go. Traces of draconid blood. Barely perceptible. I'm on the right track. I want Witcher sense. This is pretty cool. I like these Witcher quests because you can always, you're investigating and you, you find out what monster it is. And sometimes it is not what you think. Sometimes it is. I'd already preemptively put Draconoid oil on my sword, but we're probably Started not going to use it. Heavily. Wound was more serious than I thought, looks like. over here they're very vulnerable to fire so smells like sour mash dragon it must be a little distillery faster I should take care of them Half health in one hit. Less than half. Oh, it died. See, this pyro build is ridiculous. Here we go. Damn it. Half eaten body with. Scorch marks. Hmm. It's a fire breathing. Not a wyvern. Slizzard. Gotta be. They breathe fire. A slizzard? Is that what he said? What's this stuff in here? We'll read that in a second. Let's just finish looting. More blood. Landed on the roof of the distillery. Raised a ruckus, made a mess, then moved on. Alright, let's go check out our book entry we just got. It could be another quest, you never know. books I've collected and notes. Alright, it might have had something to do with uh, another quest I'd already oh, Prince. done. Crawled through here. Clearly too tired to fly. They had a bad day. This is really it was easy in to a track. bad way. Barely crawling. Maybe it's already dead. Second draconid landed here, a larger one. Waited for the smaller one to heal, then they flew off together. Should be easy to track. Smaller one was still bleeding, luckily. Where, oh, where are you? Aha. This is a pretty cool quest. Flew off together, probably bound for their nest. Oop, I hear buggies. Sorry, I was checking something. 
but let's kill these bugs since we're right here. Might as well burn them all. Where are you? There you are. Ooh, these guys I haven't seen in a while. Oh yeah, let's get them all together. Destruction. This is just insane. Is that just not sick? Oh my god. Why wouldn't you want to play? I could um, make it a little less detrimentally insane, but uh, uh, by mixing sword skills with it. But I'm having too much fun. This goes off here. Oh, we were right there. Trail ends here. Hmm. Been up here already. Might want to take a look, just to be sure. I did come across two of them in my ventures to unknown locations and killed them. And they had a boss meter on them. I wonder if it's the same ones. They're at the tippy top. Yeah, this looks really familiar. Mm -hmm. Had it right. Slizzard stole the cows. Well, killed them already. Maybe now I can get someone to pay me for it. Good thing I incinerated those eggs back there. Now to collect my reward. Damn it. I should have just skipped it when I saw it was a boss um, meter, but uh, I wasn't sure if it was quest related or not. So unfortunately, we can't show that, but at least you know where they are. So let me pause the video while we go back and turn in our quest. Okay, guys, we are back. I don't know if this is. Yeah, this is the guy. Well? Have you learned how that cow came to fly? Yeah, you can get back to work. And it wasn't a plague of falling cows. Did I not say so from the start? A weight off my chest. So what was behind the animal's plummet? Young Slizzard flying over the quarry dropped it. Was trying to get it back to its nest. Food for its mother and siblings. Probably heard the last of the beasts. Burned the nest, eggs, everything. A praiseworthy precaution, but as I said, I can only pay you what we agreed. I simply haven't any more. Here, take this. And I thank you, Master. 300 bucks, that's, that's more than I'm getting on most of them. 300 crowns, let me, let me say that again. All cleared up now, right? No gods, no plague, just the dragon, but it's gone too. We're to pay Emil's with your compensation, and that will be that. So, why do you still stand there and wait, man? Back to work, chop chop! And I've a notion suspicious workings are still afoot. What became of the builders who were to put the statue together? They were due three days back, yet there's still no sign of them at Ardesto. They were crushed too, I'm certain of it. Or eaten, or, or locusts got them like in Zerikania. What's this rubbish you spout now? The architects wrote they would arrive a week late with a large shipment of marble from Metana for the Prophet's beard. So stop flapping your gaps and get to work. Allow me to walk you away, Master. Smells a little, little unionized, those guys. <laughs> Truth be told, I lied. But I cannot have them panic again. The workers he mentioned, they've indeed vanished. Come see me later. I shall divulge to you the details. So we're not done? Quest update. 
Huh. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna hang out a couple days and then I'll start the next video and see if this turns into another quest. So guys, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the, the gameplay, even though we did not get to fight those. Uh, I feel bad I killed them earlier. They were tough too, but that was before I did my mage build. So hopefully uh, the next Witcher quest, I don't think I've killed them. But anyways, guys, like, comment, subscribe, share, and or donate. If you haven't been to my channel already, I'd urge you to have you go out there, check it out. If you like what you see, click that subscribe button. Until next time, guys, as always, later.